Hey there. So I've decided to test the power usage on my K2 Plus. The reason I'm doing this out of besides curiosity is because I have a 1500 volts, 900 watt USPS that I used to run with both my P1S and my A1 combined along with other lights. And I've never had an issue. But since I've started using my K2 Plus twice, it has shut down already with a notification of the alarm saying it is over voltage. That's when I'm running both my P1S and my K2 Plus at the same time. If I'm running the K2 Plus by itself, no issues. So I'm just running this test to see what the usage is to see how many watts is pulling which i imagine it's that's the issue is going over the 900 so there we go i'll find out i'm powering it on now as you can see the meter shows zero because it's off i'm gonna power it on right now okay right away it's as soon as i powered it on we're at 32 watts and it's still just powering on. This K2 does take a while. So let's see what happens. Okay, wattage did drop to 24. And the CFS is on. So on that plug, the only thing I have connected is the K2 Plus with the which and the CFS is connected to the plug. I mean, to the printer. Okay, so it just powered on. So far, it's in standby mode, or it's just not doing anything. Screen is still on. We're at 24 watts. I'm gonna turn off the light to see if that makes a difference. Dropped it down two watts. Okay. Because, uh, huh. I guess because it does have two separate lights inside, one in the back and one around here. I'm going to turn it back on. We're still at 22 watts. Now we're 23, 24. There we go. Okay, so the lights by itself uses two watts of power. I'm going to leave it on like this. <clears throat> going to wait until the screen goes dark which is supposed to be, I guess, its own version of sleep mode, which it doesn't. This one doesn't ever go to sleep. That fan in the back is always running. I wish they would fix that. The screen just turned off and we are at 22, 23. Okay, it's alternating between 22, 23. So I'm gonna guess it's standby mode, 23. Keeps dropping, but it's going back and forth. So I'll just say 23. And that's with the light on. I imagine if I drop it, turn the light off, it'll probably drop to 21. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and set up to do a test print. It's gonna be a quick test print, just using Duality Zone Red PLA. Nothing special, just half a test cube. I just wanna see what it spikes up to and what's the wattage while printing. And what's, what is it afterwards? Okay, just sent the print, 900, 920 watts, wow. Yep, seven amps, eight, nine. Okay, there's my answer. So it's, we're close to 900, so you, it passed 900 watts. So that explains why it causes my UPS to error out. Because <clears throat> the limit is supposed to be 900. I actually think it's up to 1,000 watts, but they probably do 900 for 
safety reasons. Okay, we're dropping down a little. We're at, let's say, close to 800. The bed is lifting up. One fifteen. Okay. Wow. That is double the numbers of my P one S. More than double. Well, this is bigger printer so okay there we go we're dropped down to 300 when we're back up You know, purging going on. I really wish to give you more options. Three, five, and two hours. <laughs> go we're printing we're at while printing we're around 180 190 
Okay, we're almost done. And we're done. Let's do it 200. Okay. All right, and we're finished. I'm gonna let it cool down right now. It's at 34 watts. Want to see if it, how long before it drops down to the 23, 24 watts standby amount? Okay. Drop down to 26 watts. Took. About five minutes, still not the standby amount. Still two watts over. Let me check the temperatures. Okay, a little warm still. So from running this test, I come to the conclusion that I need to separate this printer to a UPS by itself. Like I said, this my UPS, I have the 1500 volts. It says 900 watts. Max I give the support, and I believe it. Because, like I said, it's already shut down twice. Because when I've tried to run, when I start printing this one while my P1S is running, I've had that issue happen. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to have to do, I'm gonna have to just separate by itself i'm gonna get a separate ups just for it 900 that should work because when i'm running it by itself i have no issues question is how long is it going to run the printer for in case there's an outage i'm guessing maybe less than a minute because when it's actually the printer is actually running it's taking about 300 watts now this matters to me because in my area i do have some outages, maybe one or two spikes that lights will just flicker on and off. And I know that has damaged a couple other electronics. And sometimes it'll just pop off. The electricity will just go off for maybe a minute. Doesn't happen often, but it has, it does happen at least two to three times a month. So for sure, I definitely have to keep a UPS. If you do have good power grid in your area and you don't need it, then you probably don't have to worry about this this issue. Now, if you're running two, two or more of these printers together, you might want to consider your outlet because so each printer is taking seven point five amps. If you connect two of them, that's already fifteen. You're almost you're at the limit of what your outlet can take at that point. You might start either blowing a fuse, I mean, your breaker, you might start flipping your breaker, or worse, you could overheat the outlet if it's not new, if it's not wired correctly. So you might want to be careful in that regards. Here with mine is set up, I know I have a 20 amp, so I'm running thicker cable, 12 gauge, I know I'm good, but I won't be running another printer down here besides the K2 and my P1S. So I know I'm good, but just a heads up. If you think of running two or more, make sure you have dedicated outlets using separate breakers, maybe connect to a different location. Also, you have to see if you're on an extension cord. You don't want to run a thin extension cord. Maybe get a 12 gauge, 14 gauge, rated for at least 14, 15 amps. Okay, well, there you go. I hope this helps.